humility. That's an interesting word. And there's a lot of definitions that people associate with it. But I think the best way to define it is by looking at the word that means the opposite. Pride. Humility is the ability to let go of our pride. Pride has different meanings. But the one that stands out the most is a high or inordinate opinion of one's own dignity. Basically, you think more of yourself than you really should. Before I arrived in Wakachina where I was to go sandboarding, I didn't realize the way pride affected me. It's sandboarding time. Pride can be a two-way street. It can push us to great things, or it can provide the fear that makes us run from the process needed to achieve greatness. When I first signed up for sandboarding, I was determined to win a snowboard, even though I had never snowboarded one day in my life. In my mind, I just knew that I was amazing at it. I believe in myself a lot, but the mind is a tricky thing. It can make me feel as though I've accomplished something that I haven't even touched. So as I was walking in to rent this sandboarding equipment, I was instantly faced with humility as the owner of the shop asked me, have you ever snowboarded before? And as I looked at other experienced riders who were getting fitted for their equipment, I realized that I had just told myself that I could do something that I have no clue how to do. I was so scared and I timidly said, no. There were two options that I had in this moment. Either pretend as though I knew it all, or get scared and try to run away. I attempted the latter. Then a guy I met told me, man, if you came here and you really wanted to try it, go for it. Him and this girl eagerly awaited my decision. Then, in a strange act of courage, I said, let's do it. Something awoke inside of me as we all piled into this buggy. A feeling that I haven't experienced since I played football. And suddenly I told myself, it's time to compete. It's time to step it up. I'm a former athlete, but any performer can tell you, before you go out to compete, there is a pile of nerves that assembles that is nauseating. And as we bumped and bumbled through the streets, those nerves were piling up. And then we took off for the battleground. It was showtime. And as we rolled through the desert, there was a brief moment of awe that came about. That moment just before the game starts when you're transitioning from civilian to competitor. As I stared at the battlefield amongst other warriors, I began to have a strange sense of familiarity. I couldn't figure out what it was, but I was calm. We all knew the mission and we all were getting ourselves ready. Then. That tranquility was broken as I heard the buggy start back up and the driver tell us, Let's go! I stared at these dunes, sand blowing in my face and reality settling in as everyone stared at us getting our snowboards off the buggy. This is not the way I saw this in my mind. As I sat down and looked over that hill, I realized something. I'm standing out. There were hundreds of people out there in the desert, but only three of us had snowboards, which means that everything I did was going to be watched. I put up a front to people that I'm always confident in what I'm doing. I make myself seem as though I always know, but when it's time to actually show it off, I find every excuse to back out so I can avoid being exposed as the fraud that I see myself as. But there was no turning back. I had committed to this and I won't turn my back on something that I want. It was game time and it was time to get my jersey a little bit dirty. I 
fell and fell and couldn't get it together until... There we go. Something went off in my mind and all the preparation, everything that I used to get me to this moment helped to lift me up into the air and stand up on that board on the last five feet of that hill. I'd look back at myself and thought, where did that come from? A guy looked at me and said, that was a great stand at the end, man. I was so surprised at myself, I looked back up at the dune and climbed back up, desperate to try it again. I realized something in that moment. I can spend my whole life preparing, but until I get out there and put my preparation into play, I'll never know who I am and what I'm made of. Most times, I give up on something that I want out of fear of failure before I even give myself a chance to succeed. And it's all because I'm afraid of looking like a fool, man. But as I was sliding and falling, I noticed something. People weren't looking at me to judge me. They were looking at me and rooting for me. They wanted to see the process from failure to success, just so they know that they can do it too. And on that third time, <laughs> the whole day I stood up the entire time on that snowboard and I never looked back. And from then on I knew, if I'm more focused on my determination to succeed instead of planning for failure, then nothing's ever gonna stand in my way. Adulting gets a bad rep. It's not that the journey isn't tough, it's that we give up on ourselves before anyone has a chance to see us make mistakes. We play perfect for so long that we forget that it's our imperfections that make us who we are and our ability to push past them. That's why Kendrick Lamar's Mortal Man is so incredible. I came into Wakachina with the wall up, blocking people from seeing the real me. I only displayed the polished version, but in the end, they saw the come up. And while sandboarding, I received the permission to be confidently flawed. Life will be full of ups and downs, but through those highs and lows, I'll feel alive because I'm no longer afraid to be